This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, September the 12th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Surface map shows that we have a cold front moving through the state, and indeed the most of the rain and showers are ahead of that cold front, and we're seeing clearing skies across the northern counties as the drier air gradually settles into the area. In the upper atmosphere, we have a nice trough moving across the eastern half of the country, and that uh, trough is responsible for bringing some much cooler and drier air into the southeastern U.S. and keep those humidities down, and we may see some 40s in some of those colder spots over the next couple of mornings. On the surface map, we have uh, 60s across much of the northern uh, two-thirds of Alabama, but it's still in the 70s across the southeast where they're still experiencing some rain. And uh, we can see that uh, up at Muscle Shoals, the dew point is dipped down to 60 degrees. So they're going to be in the 50s here shortly. So that drier air slowly but surely getting into the area, along with a fairly stiff northwesterly wind around uh, 10 to 18 miles an hour with potentially some higher gusts. On radar, you can see that it, most of the rain is out of the state, but only uh, the areas around uh, Dothan and uh, into the uh, Barber uh, County and uh, parts of Houston County and down in the southeast there, that uh, that's where the rain is uh, still occurring, but that will be moving out slowly but surely. On the QPF chart, uh, this pretty much tells the story for Central and North Alabama for the next uh, five days. No rain is expected. The Storm Prediction Center's outlook for day one shows a marginal risk along the uh, southeast uh, U.S. coast and, and across parts of uh, Central and North Florida, extending up into the uh, eastern seaboard and into the uh, mid-Atlantic states. On day two, uh, we just have some thunderstorms, no areas outlooked for severe weather. And in the tropics, well, things are kind of busy, sort of, kind of, maybe a little. <laughs> the the uh, Henri has uh, fizzled. Uh, we have uh, this area uh, over uh, Puerto Rico, that is the remnants of grace, not expected to develop anything. Number three, out in the middle of the Atlantic, about 1,000 miles southwest of the Azores, is not an area where there's much uh, favorite, uh, favored conditions for any development. But area number two has a fairly good chance as it moves steadily westward of developing over the next several days. So we'll be watching that. All right, let's get to some modeling this morning. And there's a look at the GFS for today at midday, around 1 o'clock. And indeed, the rain is pushing on out to the southeast. So if you have plans to head for Alabama and Tuscaloosa, uh, the Alabama game at Tuscaloosa, or down uh, on the plains at uh, Auburn, it looks like uh, you don't need to worry about rain. In the upper atmosphere, we're seeing that trough move by. So as the trough moves by, we'll see that drier air filter into the southeastern U.S. The trough moves uh, on steadily and is uh, into the mid-Atlantic states by Sunday at midday. So that pushes much of the rain off the uh, southeast coast of the U.S. Uh, with just a little bit of wraparound moisture uh, over parts of the mid-Atlantic states. And over the southeastern U.S., the high pressure is settling in over Memphis in Dyersburg area, so we're going to see some great weather over this uh, weekend. On uh, Monday, we see in the upper atmosphere that uh, there's a little bit of a weakness, a, a little weak trough moving by, but there's not much in the way of moisture underneath that to help uh, enhance any kind of showers, so I think we stay dry. We may see a few clouds. On uh, Tuesday, the ridge is beginning to build back into the southeastern U.S., and uh, we can see that bulging up into the eastern Great Lakes area and uh, high pressure is moving off the uh, southeast and uh, mid-Atlantic states. So uh, we stay pretty dry through the middle of the week. Wednesday, the upper ridge becomes stronger over west Texas and southwest Texas and over northern Mexico. Uh, but that ridge is kind of uh, elongated, kind of northeast, southwest. So it's uh, actually making its influence felt over us. And we see that on uh, Thursday especially. We can see that the westerlies have pushed uh, along the Canadian border. We have a couple of strong short waves, one in the western Great Lakes and another one approaching uh, Oregon and Washington. But across the southeastern U.S., 
The GFS is hinting at some moisture return, but the problem here is there doesn't appear to be much in the way of a push to be able to get any lift going. So other than the possibility that is mid mid 80s return for highs, we might see the possi uh, the you know the possibility of some or afternoon showers. On Friday, the ridge is still in place. It's being pushed down just a little bit as, as those troughs move across uh, the northern tier of the United States. But once again, it's bringing a front down into the Ohio Valley, but it's not uh, has just doesn't have enough push to get down any further than that. And finally, by the time you get out to Saturday, we see that the ridge is still over Texas. So that really is keeping us in pretty much uh, dry weather. And indeed, uh, the GFS is suggesting that any showers will be down over Florida and not anything over our area. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, the ridge stays uh, a big part of our weather picture uh, as we head out into voodoo country. But on the 22nd of September, we do see a, a very strong uh, upper low moving across southern Canada. And that is allowing a fairly strong trough to uh, be felt all the way down into the southeastern U.S. and suppressing that ridge a little bit. But once again, there's not a big push for moisture to get down into the area or for any fronts to really get down in this area to give us any showers or thunderstorms. And when we get out to the end of the period, around uh, the 27th of September, the GFS is forecasting that ridge to be very strong over the central U.S. Uh, with a nice deep uh, closed low over the western counties. Now that, or western U.S. rather, that will be nice for that area because that will produce some rain over California and Lord knows they can use it. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this uh, Saturday morning. Uh, I'm going to be out at Barber Motorsports on Sunday morning, so Bill Murray will be sitting in for me uh, and will be bringing the next Weather Extreme video. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for the latest updates on our ever-changing Alabama weather. Have a great day and Godspeed.